By now, you've probably heard that Chris Six News has welcomed Katia Uriarte to the Chris Six News team. She's been working behind the scenes for a couple of months now, and we've had a lot of viewers ask us why she hasn't been on television. The answer is this. Katia's contract with her previous employer stated that if she took a job with another television station, she couldn't appear on TV for one year. So, while Katia is reporting for Chris Six News, she won't be on television until March of 2019. Katya and I have been very close friends for years, so I asked her to do an interview with me so that you could find out more about her life, her career, and why she chose to move up to the Chris Six News team. So I'm not, I wasn't born here. You know, I was born in Honduras, um, in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. And then we landed in New Orleans when I was 10 years old. And then, you know, I came here years later. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And when did you, co when did you come here? Um, 1985. Oh, in Corpus Christi. In Corpus Christi. Uh, 2004. 2004. Yep. And how do you like um, Corpus Christi? Why, why have you stayed? Because in our business, yeah. it's normal to move from place to place to place. What, right. What's kept you here in Corpus yeah. Christi? So, um, as you know, I have a little man. My boyfriend. Your boyfriend. My son. Let's get yeah. that clear. <laughs> he, um, you know, he's he's been one of the main reasons that, that I've stayed. Um, the community has just been amazing at receiving me and you know how it is like in this business you know they're either gonna love you or kind of like yeah, you or yeah. not like you at all and Corpus Christi has been incredible the whole coastal bend you know and really welcoming me and always being kind so that has had a huge part in me staying here. Yeah. I want to dial it back for a second and just kind of yeah. hit the rewind button here tell us where you went to school and okay. how you got into the business, the news business. Okay, um, so I went to Loyola University in New Orleans. And, I, okay, so I got into the business kind of, kind of by accident. Mm -hmm. um, I was pre-med my first semester. Did you know that? I was pre, no. I was pre-med my first semester because okay. I thought, you know, in a Latino family, you got to be a doctor. Lawyer. Or lawyer, a dentist. I wasn't going to be a dentist just because there was no way that was going to happen. So I was like, okay, mama, I'm going to be pre-med. So I signed up for pre-med, took my first biology class, failed. I was like, okay, well, that's over. I'm not going to be a doctor, you know. Then I, was, I signed up to be an accountant. I signed up for so many different majors. And then finally, my fifth year, um, I took a communications class, and I loved it. And then I did an internship at Fox 8 in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got my first job through mm -hmm. them. So, so it was totally by accident. You, know, you, know? you can't help sometimes comparing um, different cities, different markets you know, to yeah. each other. Obviously, you've been here for 14 years. Yeah. There's a lot that you must like about it. Yeah. What makes Corpus Christi, uh, it must stand out to you when you compare it to yeah. Jackson. It was New so Orleans. different. It, was so di it felt more like home. From, from the very start, it felt the culture completely different, um, the food completely different, and all for the better, you know, because I don't think in Jackson I could get a taco, <laughs> you know, and then I came here and I was like, oh, refried beans, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just, I'm able to speak Spanish. Yeah. You know, and that's a huge difference. It's, it's, I feel like I can connect more with people, especially with being able to speak in Spanish with so many mm -hmm. people, you know, and then it almost kind of throws me back home, home, as in Honduras, Honduras, you know what I mean? It's it's really interesting psychologically how that works. So this just feels better than anywhere I've been, so. A lot of people are gonna watch this, a lot of young women are gonna watch this and yeah. say, I wanna be just like her. So what advice would you give them? I, I mean, of course you have to, you have to be in school, you know, have to stay in school. Um, for this, you really have to love writing. Mm -hmm. And I had, I had a young girl ask me this. I was at Toloso Midway two weeks ago giving a presentation. Uh, it was career day. And this young girl said to me, can you be shy and still be in the spotlight? And I said, well, I said, I don't know if, you know, I've never been shy, you know, so for sure you definitely 
want to have some sort of personality, you know, yeah. to be in this. And um, study, study as much as you can, everything mm -hmm. that you can, absorb everything that you can, because you have to be somewhat worldly, I would say, to be in this business. And like yeah. people. And like people, like and to like, tell a story. And like right? to interact and yeah. ask questions. And yeah. yeah, you know, for us in the Latin culture, that comes easily. <laughs> yes, questions. yes. It's well. not so easy to answer the questions, but. <laughs> <laughs> you like asking them. I like asking them, yeah. So now, so you, you were at Channel 3 for how many years? 14. 14. That's a big change. It's a huge change. After 14 it's years. It's a huge change. Why? Why did you make the change? So um, it was a perfect opportunity. It just presented itself. I'm here with a group of people that really care about news, that care to look beyond a press release, you know, mm -hmm. that really want to dig deep. And I want to be part of that group. And I wanted to be part of that group. And that's not to say anything negative against anybody that I have ever worked with because I still care deeply. They're still my friends. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't want anyone to think that I have any disrespect for any of my former colleagues or for anything that we did there. But I strongly feel that what we are doing here at Chris Six is going above and beyond what's presented in front of us. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of risks that we take here. And I think it's paying off, you know. Um, so I, I just feel like it's really good journalism that's happening here, and I want to be a part of it. So you have so many people who miss you yeah. uh, because they haven't seen you no, on the air. That's super awesome. But, but yeah. you're around and, yes. and you're here with us, and you're, you're doing stuff behind the scenes. Explain to us what you'll be doing in the meantime. Okay, so um, folks can start watching me. I'm going to be doing reports for ChrisTV.com as well as our Facebook page. Um, I'm going to be involved in the community, kind of be an ambassador for Chris Six out in the community and just really go out to as many events as possible. So it's so important for me to be out there um, everywhere. Alice, Kingsville, Falfurias, um, Freer, you know, all around Corpus Christi and really helping to tell the stories, especially nonprofits, and we are able to be their vehicle to tell their stories and what it is that they're doing. Um, so that's a huge part of, of why I'm in this business too. So if you have an event that's coming up, anything that you want us to help you with, please reach out to me, K Uriarte, U-R-I-A-R-T-E, at ChrisTV.com. That was my interview with Chris Six's Katia Uriarte. Below this video player are links to some of Katia's most recent reports. Please check back often to keep up with what Katia's working on. Thank you for watching this ChrisTV.com exclusive video.